Hello, hello, hello. Hi, everyone. Welcome to a new episode, uh, to a new podcast episode. Today, we are going to talk about uh, a few different things. And especially, we're going to talk about breaking up in Spanish. We're going to talk a little bit about it. Let's Well, we're going to go over a few phrases, helpful phrases, if you want to break up with someone in Spanish. And also, if someone is telling this to you, you will know that that person is trying to break up with you. <laughs> And uh, yeah, it's going to be very interesting. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and also click on the bell icon so you can get notified every time we live stream. Also, you can visit smlessons.com for more free Spanish lessons and you can download free crossword puzzles. You can donate directly to this channel. Uh, all the links are in the video description down below. Also, I want to give a big, 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 big shout out to our members or tequila member Linda Lead. Thank you, Linda, so much. The tequila is delicious. The support is greatly appreciated. Also, big shout out to our Cerveza member, William Lopez. Thank you so much, William, for the support and for the Cerveza. Also, another big, big shout out to our Cafecito members, Stella Sabatini and Keith Pearson. Thank you so much, guys, for the support. We love you and <laughs> we really appreciate all the support and the drinks for sure <laughs> uh, if you want me to give you a shout out or if you want to get more perks as well you can check out the memberships on this channel you only need to click on the join button down below to check all the memberships and the perks and it's pretty cool because all members get free downloads also uh, cerveza members get Um, exclusive live streams and tequila members get exclusive live streams and exclusive videos as well and all of all of the members get shout outs so <laughs> you can check that out if you click on the join button down below okay also give this video a like that helps me a lot You can use the live chat if you want to talk to us, if you want to interact, if you want to share uh, your experiences, if you want to say hola, or if you just want to practice your Spanish, you can do that. Here with me is the mysterious voice. How's it going, mysterious voice? It's going. It's going? Yeah. Uh, anything new? No, not really. I just realized that You can totally see behind you where my computer chair is like 90% of the time. <laughs> yeah, you can see a circle, huh? Yeah. <laughs> We forgot to put the guitar. Yeah. I yeah, can do that did. in a second later yeah. if we get a chance. Or I think it's going to yeah, be that's fine. fine, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, that's uh, you can see that the chair sits there and that you go around constantly. Yeah, because every time <laughs> I get up... It's just a circle. You know, the chair moves and the wheels turn, but that's the place where I normally am at the computer. So that's... Yeah. <laughs> that's hilarious. I see William Lopez, or Cerveza member, on the live chat. Uh, William is saying, hola, sugar. Todo bien? Oh, todo bem. Ah, oh, that's Portuguese. To, I, I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly. Todo bem. Todo bem. Oh, that sounds so good. Yeah. That sounds so good. Um, and it looks very similar to Spanish. So I guess that means todo bien or everything okay. I, I think so. And um, hello, William. Hola. Hola. <laughs> Welcome. And yeah, todo bem. <laughs> everything is great. How are you doing? ¿Cómo estás? Espero que estés muy bien también. Welcome. Okay, so let's get started. What do you know about breaking up? <laughs> um, not a whole lot, really. It sucks. That's about it. Yeah, and we're doing this because this is the last episode of the month. And, you know, February was the month of love. 
on this channel. We talked about Valentine's Day. We talked about fir flirting as well. Mm -hmm. We talked. Do you remember the other ones? Compliments or piropos? Yeah, yeah. Also, and well, just as you know, it happens in real life. Yeah. Some couples break up. I hope you guys never have to go through that, or probably you did uh, with it in the past. Yeah. And yeah, it's difficult. It's very difficult, but it happens, right? So. Anything that you would like to say about breaking up? Any advice or any experience? Any anything? Um, I don't know. Like advice, I guess. Just like if it happens, just suck it up and move on. Oh my god! I mean, <laughs> no, seriously. Like, don't very... don't don't beat yourself up over it don't sit there crying and you know trying to call the person and this and that like just just accept what it what is and suck it up cream puff yeah and just <laughs> <No>. <laughs> uh because the sooner you do that the sooner the you're better. gonna feel better mm. you know what i mean like it's not well, easy but i yeah. think that's just something that's just something that i think people need to do more often when that happens yeah Usually in the Spanish world or people who speak Spanish, people from Latin America, usually, um, when they break up, break up with someone, they there is something that they do right after. Not everyone, but some people do, and that's drinking. Mm, a lot of I drinking. Think a lot of people do that. Yeah, just they go general. through this phase where they're just drinking. Or just one night and they're like, you know what, I, I just, I feel so bad. I'm gonna do that. Mm. And I don't think that's a good idea. No, it doesn't help. It doesn't help. You can <laughs> skip, Maybe momentarily. Skip the five stages of grief <laughs> right to the last one, you know. Yeah, I guess. It's hard. It's hard. I know that it takes time. But I usually what I used to do, because I had to go through that a few times... Uh, what I, what I, what I did was just occupy myself doing something yeah. that I really liked, or did I still like. For yeah. example, playing my guitar. You know, playing guitar, um, spending time with friends that you didn't see for a long time because you were busy with your relationship. Yeah. And things like that, like enjoy being alone. Yeah. I did. Every do. time I, I had to go through that, not too many times, but I used to enjoy a yeah. lot to be do, alone. Do all the stuff that you couldn't do before. Yeah, like that's, exactly. That's the, the best way to get over it. Yeah, exactly. It's because, you'll one, you'll get to do stuff that you like to do that you weren't able to. Mm -hmm. And two, you get to see there's more to the world and mm -hmm. to you than that person. So exactly, exactly. Hang in there, kitty. <laughs> uh, William says, "Esto, esto muy tu bem, obrigado." Great pronunciation, by the way. Haha. <laughs> 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 I'm telling you, I should learn Portuguese, and I think William is teaching us uh, some Portuguese, yeah. and that's pretty cool. I love it. I, I know a couple of words, but I can't say them on here. In Portuguese? Yeah. Why can't you? Because they still bad words. Yes, very. Why? Why? Where did you le learn that from? One of my employees is Portuguese. Oh, really? Yeah. And that person says those words a lot, or what? Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't want this video to be exactly. demonetized, exactly. so but I, I, I do know a couple. You never told me about this. That, that never really comes up in conversation. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can tell me later. Sure. But <laughs> anyway, um, KS is also in the house. ¿Qué tal todos? Supongo el amor no es aire hoy. <laughs> so KS is saying hello everyone or what's up everyone. And uh, I guess the love is not in the air today. Tonight. No, well, like I said, February yeah. was all about love, about, so yeah. March is going to be all about hate. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 
No, no, no. I, I'm talking about this or we're talking about this because it happens in real life. And if you date someone from Latin America, somebody from Spain, you should know that this could happen. Hopefully not, but this could happen. And if you want to break up with that person, at least you're going to know some tips and especially you will know some phrases that will help you do that and also if that person is telling you that you will be like ah oh, there's something wrong yeah. but let me tell you there is not a big difference between breaking up with someone from a different country than breaking up with someone from latin america and or spain you know i think that's a global thing yes breaking up yeah you know and You should memorize the phrases, by the way, if you're planning on using them. Don't, you know, because like, they'd be awkward to just pull up your phone in the middle of, <laughs> like, just uh, this, hang, hang on a second, hang how on, do you, hang let me on. just see how to say this one. <laughs> I think you need to practice yeah. a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Well, welcome KS, and I, I, yeah, I like your comment. Thank you so much. William says, the worst situation when breaking up is when you're not sure if it's the right decision like should i extend this thing okay any advice on that um i think if you're seriously considering it it's probably the right decision because if you're at that point you know where Think, you're thinking things about are it clearly and... wrong yeah i mean it's always i, it I mean as, as long as you've you've tried you know talking it out and all that stuff mm -hmm. but yeah yeah sometimes it's necessary i think yeah. people should not be afraid of breaking up even though it might be hard yeah. but it, you have to think of you yeah first and then I mean, your partner is important too, but you have to be happy. You have to be enjoying yourself when spending time with that person. And if you're not doing it, then something's wrong. Yeah. And Talk it out. Yeah, and communication if there, is yeah, key. If there isn't a solution, then the healthy thing to do is just to break up. Yeah. You know, I think it is what yeah, it is some, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh yeah because i know some people they date forever that's another thing people dating forever i mean it's up to people right yeah but i don't think it's healthy to date forever and not even take the next step to either get married or mm -hmm. to just live together you know yeah. it's kind of weird to date someone for 10 years and then <laughs> you know yeah it's weird it's weird but i mean anyway. that happens too anyway that's another topic but let's talk about some phrases nothing too tricky nothing too complicated you will be surprised by these phrases because they're very very you probably heard this before in your own language so now we're gonna learn them in spanish so <laughs> That's good. Okay, so let's see the first one. Creo que necesitamos terminar. Creo que necesitamos terminar. This means I think we need to break up. Creo que necesitamos terminar. Creo means I think. Creo que necesitamos we need similar to we need uh terminar to break up or we need to break up right so this is a very common thing to say it's very it's very simple not not complication here um obviously you have to talk to this person first and say hey like can can do you have time like mm. I, I need to tell you something, right? Necesito decirte algo. Tienes tiempo, necesito decirte algo. And then you can say, creo que debemos terminar. Okay? And that means, I think we should break up. 
or we need to break up, right? So that is the first one. What do you think about it? It's pretty straightforward. Yeah. yeah. Is this something rude to say, do you think? Because in Spanish, it's not. No, if I don't you're think direct, so. I mean, if you just yeah. want to get to the point. Yeah, I just think it sounds way more serious in Spanish than in English. Really? It's like, we need to terminate. We you need to know. terminate, it's yes. <laughs> that's the thing, that's the thing. Terminar, um, in Spanish, that's a verb, and it means to finish or to terminate, yeah, you know, so to just stop. It sounds very serious. Yeah, it sounds very serious. Um, in Spanish, um, well, in English, break up. That sounds very... Um, It sounds more like emotional, I think. Emotional yeah. than, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Southern. Well, <laughs> the the <laughs> Spanish one it sounds more like you're finishing a project, you know. To me, it's just. <laughs> yeah, but you use the verb terminar in Spanish. If, well, it's that verb is very versatile. But uh, one of the meanings of that is, or you would use it if you want to break up with someone. Terminar. Debemos terminar. We should break up. Okay? Or creo. Creo that makes it a bit more, you know, I've been thinking, uh, I think, you know, uh, that we should terminate this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's, that's uh, a little funny. But it, it's also very serious, right? Yeah. Okay, so I see KS is saying, Estoy soltero. Al romper, romper. No encender las bebidas o de lo contrario se romperá emocionalmente. Voz misteriosa tiene razón. So essentially KS is saying that you're right. Al romper, al romper, I assume that means uh, when you break up with someone or when breaking up, romper. Remember, que es terminar uh, is a more common verb to say break up in Spanish. Romper, romper, romper is more like literally you're tearing something, you know, you're breaking something but terminar is more related to dating and breaking up okay that, that was a good example uh, la vida tal vez llena de sorpresas que sabe okay yeah okay yes yeah, says uh, life is full of surprises right yeah, exactly yeah. okay so let's see the next phrase okay that was the first one sorry <laughs> The second one is Mereces algo mejor Mereces algo mejor This means you deserve better <laughs> This is a common one, isn't it? Yeah You can explain that a little bit I, I don't know, with that one It's one of those phrases that you know they're lying When, when they tell you that They're just saying that to make you potentially less upset you know uh -huh, it's, you. it's like uh it's not you it's me no it's not it's, you, it's, it's you it's you you it's know <laughs> like that's not how that works so but it's so funny that people say this but so i think it's much. because they're trying to make, make it, it you know not as more bad yeah not yeah more uh like less dramatic i guess and less upsetting yeah and also another important thing is You should break up with someone in public or not in public? Um, I th think, I think, I don't think you should do it in public because people say, you know, do it in public so it, you know, doesn't cause a scene, but it's going to cause a scene. You know, I, th I think have the courtesy to do it in private, you know, save the person a bit of dignity, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Just let me repeat this phrase again. Mm -hmm. Mereces algo mejor. Mereces algo mejor. This means you deserve better. So once again, this is very similar to 
uh, the English phrase, right? It's very common. It, it also happens in Spanish. People say this, mereces algo mejor. So yeah, that is uh, <laughs> the, <laughs> that was the phrase number two. And look at that, we have the guitar. Yeah, look at that. It just appeared there. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> <laughs> or guitars teleport yeah that's pretty cool <laughs> okay so what do you guys think you should break up in public or not is it more awkward in public or is it's not um, personally I think man it's hard it's hard I, I, one thing one thing I I know for sure is that people should not break up over the phone. Yeah, like phone, text messages. Text like, messages yeah, and all of that. That's, that's very, cool. very bad. Yeah. But I think, man, I don't know. I don't know. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Uh, okay. So I see. I see um, the live chat. I see some comments. William says, sigue intentando que yes, there's always a match out there. Oh, that's so nice. So William says, sigue intentando means keep trying. Sigue intentando que yes, uh, there's always a match out there. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Unless you don't want to have a, yeah, a partner. Yeah. yeah, it's okay to be alone too. Yeah. Right. But it's up to you. What do you want? And, um, but yeah, if you try, I think you can get some, someone, you know, a special yeah. one, if you want someone right in your life. Uh, but yeah, great advice, William. KS also says, hay una frase llamada, hay muchos peces en el mar. And yeah, hay muchos peces en el mar. Um, that's true. Um, there is a phrase that says there's a lot of fish in the sea. Mm -hmm. Is that something that yeah, yeah, English people a, say? Yeah. Or people in English say? Yeah, yeah that's true. That's true. Uh, <laughs> and don't be afraid to be alone. I think that's a lot of people don't break up with their partners because they're afraid to be alone. And I think it shouldn't be. No. It shouldn't be something like a torture for you. Definitely. Uh, William says, definitely not in public unless your partner has some psychopath tendencies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I agree. That's, agree. that's a good point. I agree. And you want to do it like n near the police station. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, yeah, that sounds very dangerous. Um, maybe if someone is a psychopath probably doing breaking up over the phone is better yeah, it's acceptable <laughs> that's as acceptable i think i think uh <laughs> because in public can you imagine if that person goes all crazy on you yeah but at like, least there's like witnesses you know things and yelling and man what can you do yeah that's crazy that's something difficult to do right but anyways, uh, now let's see the next phrase. Okay, so let's see. Necesito concentrarme en mi carrera. Necesito concentrarme en mi carrera. This means I need to focus on my career. Necesito concentrarme en mi carrera. Okay, so this is a very common one too, right? Yeah. So if... Do you think this is an excuse too? Of course it is. So I wonder if there's someone who actually wants I, to focus on un, their career unless, and be like... I think unless your career has you like moving far away, like you, you can't say that you don't have a couple of hours in a week to spend with somebody, you know what I mean? True. Yeah, I think that's just a bad excuse. Yeah, that's yeah, that sounds like an excuse more than an actual thing. Yeah. It could happen, but yeah. But all of these phrases are good to use. Yeah. 
you know, because you don't want to hurt your partner more than yeah than you know than they they are already or your partner is already. So, um, is it okay to lie a little then? Just to uh, not hurt someone? I don't know. I don't like to lie, so I don't know. It's like I remember a Seinfeld episode when George Costanza is breaking up with um, with the lady wearing chopsticks in the hair oh, like yeah, on the somewhere yeah, yeah. on the head I remember that. and um george says it's not you i believe that's what he says it's yeah. it's not you it's me and then the girl goes like tell me what's wrong what did i do and george is like no no it, it, it's it's me it's me it's yeah. me i'm the problem and then the woman says no tell me george like i want to know if I did something wrong, mm. you know, so he ends up telling her it's your earrings. What was yeah, it? the earrings. Because the, she was yeah, wearing like super earrings. big earrings and you know, George Costanza, he's like yeah. <laughs> a crazy dude. And it's your earrings. It's your chopsticks, chopsticks pr your pretentious. Yeah. Yeah. He went on and on saying <laughs> what was wrong. And the lady, she was an accountant, I think, mm -hmm. and she was doing Jerry's taxes, paperwork yeah. taxes. Yeah. And it's just hilarious because when someone is asking you, what's wrong? What did I do? Tell me, tell me the truth. Would you say the truth to this person? Would you say, you know what? I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> <laughs> it's your earrings. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just... I love Seinfeld. I'm sorry. I had a Seinfeld moment. Mm. I always do. So, but yeah, honestly, I think I would use these phrases. Mm. Um, and if the person is telling me, just tell me the truth. I don't know. Maybe I, it's not necessary. I think unless you want to fix something. I don't know. I think it is. Would you say something? I think so. I think like you the you truth. Have to, oh yeah, I think you should be honest. Unless the person is a psychopath. All times, even then, <laughs> what you should always be honest <laughs> because that person might need to hear that. You know, they might take it bad in a moment. But depends it what might, it is too. Yeah, but it, but it if might. If it's be, your earrings, I don't think that's no that. <laughs> but that's also a stupid reason to break up. But yeah. no, but if it's like a legitimate reason, I think it it's a down the line once they're over it and everything. It's it's a good thing to kind of yeah. reflect on and be like, huh, you know, maybe I I could do you know. I should change. I should change this about, you know what I mean? Like, it's like a gr moment for self-reflection and yeah. personal growth. Well, I remember I had a situation. Uh, I had a, an important relationship in the past. Is it okay if I say that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, well, it's just an experience, okay? So, the problem, it's not between something that happened mm -hmm. to us. It was a previous thing. Mm -hmm. But... Um, my issue was that this person didn't want to commit. You know, mm. this person wanted to date forever. And that's why I said at the beginning, like, to me, dating forever, unless you're mm. happy about it, but dating forever, it's very frustrating. Mm. So that's why I had to end that relationship because when someone doesn't want to commit, that's a problem and you mm. want something else you want to take yeah. the next step and that's, then that's a problem yeah so i was you're i was to, uh -huh. you're like what's the, what's the saying you're not on the same page mm -hmm. you know yeah and that was honest but if i didn't like someone because the way they were mm -hmm. or that person was then I would not say anything because, I mean, what's the point? That person, that's the way he is. I don't want to change what he is, right? So if I say, I don't like this, 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 and that, then it's like, that's him, you know, that's mm -hmm. how he is. And I don't think that would help to 
for him to change anything um, unless uh. it's something bad right mm. but anyways um yes let's read some comments would you like to read some no it's okay you can read them oh come on come on okay um ks says or also we have someone else on the live chat Fistla. Fis Fistla. Uh, can you play guitar and sing in Spanish? I can do that, my friend. <laughs> yes, I can. The only problem, guys, I I wish I could play something for you. Uh, maybe I will in a different video, but YouTube demonetizes videos for any, any copyrighted song. So all the songs I knew are copyrighted. <laughs> No. You know, it, from different uh, bands because I, I play um, uh, different songs from different bands. They're from Mexico. They're from like different parts of Latin America and so on. And also, I play um, some English songs or songs in English. Yeah. I I love playing guitar, and I wish I could do it right now, but. The bad news is that YouTube demonetizes everything. So <laughs> maybe in the future, maybe in the future, maybe on Instagram, on my Instagram or on Twitter or on Facebook. So if you're not following me, you can see right now all, uh, what is it, the handles? Yeah. And uh, yeah, you can see that somewhere here. So... <laughs> You can follow me and maybe you will see me playing guitar. <laughs> okay, that was a great question. Thank you, Fee Stla, and welcome. William says, in this case, you may need testigos. Not sure about the translation. Um, like if you are breaking up with a psychopath. <laughs> what, what are we talking about? Testigos means witnesses. Testigos, witnesses. Yeah. yeah, it makes sense. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I think that yeah, could yeah. <laughs> or maybe you would end up on Twitter because someone yeah. took a video of you, <laughs> you know, in that situation. That's another thing. Now if, nowadays anything can go viral. I think there's some viral breakups probably yeah so that's crazy yeah i mean yeah i don't know i don't know guys i don't know <laughs> uh, maybe the internet can be the witness <laughs> <laughs> okay ks okay, yes. el miedo a estar solo tal vez es la presión de la sociedad okay so the fear of being alone maybe is um the pressure from society yes something yeah. like that maybe society is pressuring you to fit in yeah you know, into something still, that they want still that mentality of yeah and even like you look at nowadays um like a lot of people even in their 30s for an example this is off topic a little bit but they're still living at home right mm -hmm. just because cost of living is so inflated from what it used to be and like jobs are harder to get blah 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 whatever lots of reasons but a lot of people still have that mentality that they should have you know they should be living on their own when they're 18 they should be yeah. married and have a house by the time they're 20 yeah. you know like so it's just that old mm -hmm. mentality mm -hmm. the way the world just doesn't work anymore i think that's with the whole right with that true what ks is saying as well true true i agree ks um but yeah honestly i never i was never afraid of being alone when i had to go through a breakup and i mean that's it you can do it you can do it i mean anybody can do it come on <laughs> okay let's move on because we've been talking about breakups and all of that but let's learn some more phrases Okay, so the next one is Necesito mi espacio. Necesito mi espacio. And this means I need my space. 
or just space. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? um, so what do you think about this phrase in particular? Is this selfish? No. Is I this something so. that people should use when breaking up with someone? It depends on the person, I guess. Like if the person is just needy like way too needy and <laughs> you know and if that's what's pushing you to that point that's yeah. a valid reason mm -hmm. yeah it could yeah yeah some people don't like to spend their time their entire time with the other person which is fine uh, but i also think that you should enjoy having that person with you yeah you know because yeah. Especially if you're gonna spend a lot of time with that person when you either get married or you move in together, then you should enjoy that part. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> But it's also good to have your own space. Sometimes people are not ready to commit to do something together. So this is a great phrase. Once again, very commonly used anywhere in the world. And just to express that you need some space. Necesito mi espacio, okay? Necesito mi espacio, please. I'm sorry, but... Disculpa, pero necesito mi espacio. Hazte para allá. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just... Yeah, yeah just, just yeah. get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think when breaking up with someone, you need to be... You need to be, you need to do it right. Yeah. You know, don't be rude. Don't, I would avoid any arguments because if you already made up your mind, just, just be nice. You know, just be nice. Don't you agree? Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, okay, so that was phrase number four. Now let's see the next one. We have 10 phrases, guys. Okay, the next phrase is No eres tú, soy yeah. yo. No eres tú, soy yo. Oops, sorry. It's not you, it's me. No eres tú, soy yo. Okay, it's not you, it's me. How about this one? What do you think about this one? Well, I think I already mentioned that one. Yeah, you mentioned that one. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is BS, I think. Yeah, absolutely. This is BS, but it's helpful, especially if you want to end it softly. <laughs> if I don't you think, want to. But people know. I don't know. think it is because, yeah, you can think that it's going to, you know, soften the blow but it really doesn't it's just like the whole thing you know mm -hmm. doing a breakup in public to not cause a scene like it's just gonna cause this cause a scene <laughs> you know? yeah 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 I, i yeah i think so and i think it's a a, a phrase that people use to not explain what's wrong yes. Just yeah. to not, just to do it fast, you know, mm -hmm. you just want to break up and that's it. So might as well do it fast. No eres tú, so yo, I blame myself, I did something wrong. Mm -hmm. Or this is used also when people find someone else. Yes. Yeah, no eres tú, so yo. That yeah. person is kind of saying half, half truth. Yeah, I guess. Right? Yeah, just like saying, yeah, you know what? It's real. It's not you. It's me. Yeah. No, no, no eres tú. So yo. <laughs> Because, you know, that person is yeah, doing dude. something fishy. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> But anyways, uh, you can use this phrase in Spanish. Or if you hear this from someone uh, that speaks Spanish, then you know that person is trying to break up with you. Okay, let's see what you guys are saying. Que ya says el miedo. No. Para terminar una relación en público puede sentir avergüenza. Ok, so para terminar una relación en público, la gente, people, pueden sentir vergüenza. Ok, sentir vergüenza means to feel ashamed or to just, not ashamed, it's like, you know, the uh, escándalo. Mm -hmm. So you don't want, you just, don't, you feel awkward, okay? You feel awkward, you feel like 
you're feeling like oh my god this lady is yelling so much yeah. or oh my god this guy is just yeah like, yelling. It's, like i said it's it's gonna cause a scene you mm -hmm. yeah yeah you're just exactly. actually making it making a worse scene so in public might be not a good option. not a good no, option of course yeah not. unless that person that you're dating yeah unless you're has concerned some manners. for your safety <laughs> Uh, okay, William says, Los dos deben tener conocimiento de sus propios defectos. If you're bringing all up at once, proves that there was no dialogue. Oh yeah, that's mm -hmm. that's true. That's true. If you're like listing everything that you yeah, think is you never wrong, tried. and this person is like, what? Yeah. I didn't know. Like, why didn't you tell? this before yeah. tell me this before uh so i agree william is wise yeah totally i agree william um if you're communicating with this person and if you break up you probably can tell this person you know already what's wrong right mm -hmm. ya sabes lo que está faltando ya sabes lo que está mal en la relación yeah Good, good. I agree, William. Uh, okay, so let's learn the next phrase. Phrase number six, I believe. Okay. Seamos solo amigos. Ooh, friend zone. Mm. Seamos solo amigos. By the way, guys, you can write solo with an accent mark or without it nowadays it's acceptable to have both things both words mean the same thing um, but this means let's just be friends seamos solo amigos Ooh. is this friend zone no. kind of thing no because that's when you before dating yes. right so it's not yeah. no they're it's not just doing that to you but no it's it's the same i think it's the same like the whole it's not you it's me kind of thing it's because you know you're not going to be friends but there's i do you think so yeah, of course not i can't remember where <laughs> where i heard it but um uh, it, it's basically i can't remember who, like i said i can't remember who said it but it was something along the lines of if you've seen each other naked <laughs> you Man, can't be friends can't be friends <laughs> yeah you know, you yeah, can't have yeah. this, that, and the other. <laughs> uh, <laughs> man, again, Seinfeld. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it's very hard for people to go back to be friends or something like that after yeah. you date. Yeah. Man, but some people try, for yeah. sure, for sure. Or people when... Um, they feel low they feel lonely and they call their exes mm -hmm. you know when they're feeling like that and it's like it's been years or months mm -hmm. and you call this person and you're like hey what you doing <laughs> <laughs> in the middle of the night <laughs> that's something very common in the spanish world i don't know Jeez. if in i don't I don't anywhere know. else I've never done it but but <laughs> that happens a lot um i think in america too Probably. that uh, after you break up with someone your friends take the phone your mm -hmm. phone away from you because they don't want you to be drunk calling the person mm -hmm. you know uh so it happens in in latin america too uh and it's common that that person can call you later after months mm -hmm. or years and say hey what's up yeah. <laughs> <¿Qué onda? laughs> but yeah let's see what you guys are saying uh -huh. okay yes one of my family members say never try to change anyone that's true i agree Hey, es Azúcar Astronauta. Usted puede crear sus propias canciones si YouTube no le permiten. Okay, so Hey, es is suggesting to to make our our own songs if YouTube is not allowing us to play other people's songs. <laughs> what do you think about that? 
<laughs> We're not at that level yet, I think. <laughs> I think. But it's a good idea. Maybe I can make an alphabet song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Spanish alphabet song. <laughs> yeah, it's a great idea, KS. Maybe one day. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great idea. Uh, William, at this point, phrase number five sounds just funny. Which one was that one? The, it's not you, it's me. It's not you, it's me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. I agree, no, William. I just, but it's commonly used. Yeah, I just thought of something. Because mm -hmm. if you play a song mm -hmm. and YouTube demonetizes it because you're playing somebody else's song, it just means you played it pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's almost <laughs> like a compliment. You know, you, d you did it good enough that YouTube thought it was the actual thing. Can you imagine <laughs> if you do cover songs, you upload them on YouTube and they don't get demonetized Yeah, that's what I mean, like, just, I think that They're would be... They're like, um, I don't know if that's a that good would, thing or a bad thing. That would be actually, I think, a fun channel. Like, <laughs> play a song bad enough that you can still kind of <laughs> guess what it is, what it but is. bad enough that it doesn't get demonetized. <laughs> Yeah, we, you know, we can that's try. That's pretty good. We yeah, can yeah, try. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> okay, let's see the next phrase. Okay. Tenemos que hablar. Tenemos que hablar. This means we have to talk. So this is something that you would say before breaking up, I think. Yeah, Tenemos I que after. hablar. After breaking up. <laughs> you could say it after. <laughs> But that has a different yeah, meaning. There's no point. <laughs> no, I mean, some people can say this after a few... Well, I don't think it has the same no, punch, you know? No. Or how would you say it? No. Hey, what you doing? <laughs> we need to catch up. <laughs> <laughs> or that phrase of, oh, you look so good. You know, like after you bump into this person oh, and you're yeah. like... Oh, oh you look so, great. It's so great it's seeing nice. you. We should totally catch up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, this <laughs> this is not this kind of phrase. No. Yeah, of course, I'm stating the obvious that you say this before <laughs> breaking up, <laughs> not after. Uh, so, tenemos que hablar. We have to talk. And this is uh, another universal phrase when it comes to breaking up. When someone says this to you, it's because there's something wrong and, you know, you're you're breaking up or that person wants to break up. Yeah, so kind of tricky, right? Kind of tricky. Uh, okay, let's see what you guys are saying. Uh, una relación durante muchos años es casi como si estuviera casado. Okay, so a relationship that lasts many years, it's, it's, it's like being married. Yeah, but what if you're living in separate houses? That's that's the problem that I... Mm -hmm. Well, that's, that's something that I don't like, yeah. personally. Yeah. If you have someone and they live in their own house... It, but you're having a relationship yeah, I don't, and it's like what <laughs> yeah it's then it's it's not like a serious relationship at that point it's mm -hmm. still kind of like exactly like you're not kids mm -hmm. anymore mm -hmm. uh fi es fiesta is it like saying fiesta fiesta <laughs> i like it uh, the singing astronaut new channel yeah, I like that. I like that. <laughs> I might have a new channel. I mean, just because <laughs> I don't have too many channels, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but that's a great idea, Fisla. Um, yeah, probably I'll do that <laughs> in the future if I have some time, for sure. Yeah. Um, okay, William says, I'm not sure, but I think that playing in another key tricks YouTube. Or maybe trying a self-made variation would also work. Mm. Talking about uh, songs, the cover songs yeah. and all that stuff. Uh, yeah. I mean, we could try. We could try. 
right? Yeah. yeah. And we can let you know, guys, for sure. <laughs> Good advice, William. Buen consejo. <laughs> okay, let's see the next phrase. Ooh. Okay, so phrase number eight. No te quiero ver nunca más. No te quiero ver nunca más. So you could... This is uh, an intense phrase. Yeah. And you have to say it very... If you're saying this, you should say it like this. No te quiero ver nunca más. Okay, so you sound kind of mm. mad. Because this is that kind of phrase. This means I don't want to see you anymore. Ooh. So if I think you could say this to someone that cheats on you. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because, damn. Oh, <laughs> that is something intense. If you mm -hmm. say this to someone in Spanish, you're really letting them know, man, like, you screwed up. I don't want to see you anymore. Right? Yeah. So, yeah, guys, that one is an intense one. You can use it if you think it's necessary. <laughs> But I hope you don't have to use it because it's... It's kind of sad. Yeah. It's kind of sad. But it happens. It happens. Okay. Let's see the next phrase. We only have, I think, two more. Quiero que terminemos. Quiero que terminemos. This means I want to break up with you. Again, we're using terminar. And yeah. that is a different way to say we need to break up or I think we should break up or we need to break up quiero que terminemos so this is a more direct more decisive mm -hmm. phrase quiero que terminemos so this is a phrase to use if you really don't want anything else so you don't want to talk about it you don't want to try to fix it you don't want second chances yeah. nothing it's over <laughs> it's over so um, quiero que terminemos okay so yeah another common phrase very straightforward so it happens i say that a lot I, i'm saying that a lot because i just want you to let i want to let you know that these phrases are very commonly used in spanish and it's something easy that you can remember because you already probably heard this heard this of uh, these phrases from other people or you use them mm -hmm. so you know you know them in English or in your own language so you only have to pretty much translate that into Spanish and we're learning that right now yeah. okay so lastly and then I'll read some of your comments let's see the last phrase Creo que esto no está funcionando. Creo que esto no está funcionando. This means I think this is not working out. It's okay. <laughs> so yeah, again. Creo que esto no está funcionando. I think this is not working out. So once again, this one is not too serious i mean it's serious but not as serious as the last two ones what do you think of this one i it's serious i think they're i think it's like it's an okay phrase yeah i think that one me that one still leaves room for like a conversation where you can tr you know yeah. talk it out and talk it out yeah Yeah, exactly. So when you say in Spanish, creo, creo, and then the rest, creo means I think. So that means that you can, like the mysterious voice said, you can talk it out. Maybe there's a solution or you want to just uh, explain the situation. Yeah. Because you can say, creo que debemos terminar. Or what was that last one? Sorry. <laughs> Creo que esto no está funcionando. If you say this, you can you can explain why this is not working out. You know, you can say, you know what? Um, it's, it's just 
the earrings, the chopsticks. The earrings, the, the chopsticks, the uh, <laughs> yeah. all of that. <laughs> uh, and I believe coming back to that, we're getting back to that. Uh, I believe at the end the lady says, "How much do I owe you?" Because they were at a restaurant that was in public. Oh, <laughs> and she started yelling, and she, she, yeah, everybody was watching, and, and then she said, "So, how much do you want for you know for the meal?" Because she was leaving, and George was like, "Uh, was it?" No, first he was like, "Oh no, it's it's okay." No, and it's like it's it's like four dollars. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, oh my god, you should you should watch oh, that yeah. episode. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, so good. It's so good. I mean, yeah, George is damn <laughs> guy, but amazing. I mean, I love all the characters. Yeah. Jerry, uh, uh, George, the George's dad. Man. Yeah, he's great. He's great. Elaine and <laughs> Kramer yeah. as well. Yeah. But anyways, yeah. let's read some of your comments and then we can wrap it up. And that would be it, guys. Okay. So let's see. Um, where was I? <laughs> I got lost. Okay, um, hmm. KS says about friends, Chris Rock, a comedian, he said a lot, a, a lot, friends and relationship. Hmm, I haven't I watched know. Chris Rock in a long time, yeah, but he's, yeah. he talks about that kind of stuff a lot. Hmm. It's about what friends and relationships yeah, yeah like there's a like a, <clears throat> a lot of it is stand up is about that kind of stuff yeah uh, he's yeah he's pretty funny okay uh fisla says can fisla sounds like i'm saying fist fisla <laughs> but fist fi <laughs> man sorry fisla says can you use hamas instead of nunca Ham what's the difference Okay, uh, you can say Hamas and Nunca, and I, I think both are pretty similar. No te quiero ver jamás, no te quiero ver nunca. So both mean the same thing, and there is not a big difference between the two of them. Okay, so yeah, they're pretty much synonyms. So you can use either one. Great question, Fisla. <laughs> Uh, que es probablemente necesito ver telenovelas o telenovela. Yeah, telenovelas are very <laughs> dramatic. But I mean, breaking up just like, you know, telenovela style, I don't think it's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> But that's something interesting for just sure. Then, like you're pretending you're in a coma. Yeah. You know, and yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's funny. It's funny. I mean, telenovelas are just funny to watch. I find them really funny. Don't take them seriously. Yeah. <laughs> do not do that. <laughs> okay, William says this last one is very subtle. I agree with Mr. Voice. Uh huh. Yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah. I think I that's think that's is, the yeah. that's the best one. I, I think. think. Uh, yeah. I yeah. think so. Because, like I said, it it leaves that opportunity where you're you can still there's still a chance you can talk about it and you know f true try and fix it or whatever. But yeah, yeah it's yeah. I agree. And KS says in Seinf Seinfeld, Kramer was my favorite character. Yeah, Kramer is Kramer the best. Was great. I, I, George, I think. Was the is these pretzels are <laughs> making me thirsty. Yeah, I, I think yeah, George was <laughs> I think my favorite just because. So. You're killing such independent. Such a terrible George. person. <laughs> And yeah, just such a terrible human being. I think all of them are pretty bad. But I think George but, was I mean, hands bad down. people, but. Yeah. They're real, you know. That's that's it's, what I like about yeah, them. They're real. It's like yeah. yeah, it's real people just 
yeah. kind of a little bit to an extreme. There is no, but. you know, like moral. Yeah. Nothing. They yeah, just. There isn't a good lesson at the end of the. It's <laughs> literally that that yeah, and it's literally a show about nothing. About nothing. Yeah. And I love it. I think it's genius. Yeah. It's genius. Just like George, just because he's so. Just every like every quality he has is negative, you know. He's cheap, che so cheap. cheap. Like the the one episode where his wife dies from licking the stamps from the 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 Not glue. Wife, fiance, fiance, yeah, because he bought the cheap stamps because he wanted to save money for oh, yeah. Man. <laughs> no, 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 man. And when he's napping under the desk. Yeah, when, yes. Oh my god, he's just. <laughs> he is so funny. Uh, okay, so um, William says Recomiendo ver Fargo, this, this series. Chris Rock is great in season four. Far Chris Rock is in Fargo? In, I think there's like a Netflix TV show of it. Chris Rock, he's a comedian, yeah. right? Yeah. I was he was he in the Fifth Element? No, that's or Chris him? Tucker. Oh, okay. He, yeah. Chris Rock, where was he? I'm trying to remember what he was in. I don't know. I I think we should watch Fargo on Netflix. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Right. I can't. Remember. Oh man. I know he was in a couple of Adam Sandler movies. Oh, yeah. Okay, Recent. everybody hates Chris. That's oh, like a TV show that he did. Fargo made. Grown Ups. Yeah. Madagascar. Uh, okay, so wow. Uh, yeah, The Longest Yard with... Um, oh, yeah, Lethal Weapon 4. That's oh, that's where I remember him from yeah, yeah, yeah. the most. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Wow, yeah, he is very famous. Yeah. Huh. Oh, he was in Fresh Fresh Prince? He was a couple episodes, yeah. He, I think he was like... Uh, wow. I think he was a comedian, actually, I think, in Fresh Prince, if I remember. Wow. Huh. Well, we'll, we'll check that out. Okay. Thank you, William. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Fargo, isn't it like a serious TV yeah. show? Yeah, kind of. Like yeah. a mis mystery kind of thing? Something like that, oh. yeah. Okay, Fisla, I love the content you put out. Just wish there were n there were more often. More often? <laughs> Man, we do that. We do this Tuesdays. Every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then that's it. Three, three videos a yeah. week. Three live streams <laughs> a week. Um, maybe we can do more, <laughs> but I appreciate the comment. Thank you so much, Fisla, um, because, I mean, uh, it means the world to me that you say that you love the content, and thank you so much. Yeah. You're so sweet. Thank you. And um, maybe we can do more, but if you get a membership, no pressure. <laughs> If you get a chance and if you want, um, I live stream, I do exclusive live streams for Cerveza members and Tequila members. So if you want to watch more of us, uh, especially of me, <laughs> you can check out the memberships. And yeah, we do that as well. <laughs> Thank you so much for your comment. Que es disfruta de tu noche. Gracias por el consejo en caso de que tenga una relación. Chris Rock was in New Jack City. Movie, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, thank you, KS. Thank you, William. Um, thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Thank you for interacting with us, for sharing what you think about what we talked about today. And uh, yeah, I hope that this was helpful. If you have any questions, you can tell me right now or you can just leave a comment in the comment section down below and hopefully I can answer all of your questions. William says, si te gustan los programas de crimen y algo de humor, 
sutil, te recomiendo totalmente. Ok, so I guess Fargo, that's mm. uh, what Fargo is about, about crime and humor. <laughs> so, subtle humor. Yeah. Um, thank you, William. Um, I'll keep up with the great work. Thank you so much for your comment. Uh, take care of yourself. Um, also, be safe, like this video, give it a thumbs up if you liked it, that helps this channel a lot. You can leave more questions in the comment section down below. You can share this if you, if you want, that helps us a lot too. And subscribe, click on the bell icon so you can get notified every, every time I, we live stream. And tomorrow we will have a crossword puzzle, we will be guessing some words maybe random i don't know maybe random words but uh, just stay tuned and just activate all the notifications so you can get all the notifications <laughs> okay take care anything else i uh, just have a good night uh thanks for coming out hanging out with us and mm -hmm. uh, yeah hope, hope you enjoyed it yeah well we'll see you next time bye bye adios